Welcome, and especially welcome to ADP's main web page here. Uh, this is the main web page for Workforce Now, ADP.com. There are different ones, so make sure you go to the right one for your company. I'm going to go ahead and log in here, and uh, we'll let it load up and go to the main page. And here we go. It's an application. It is mobile friendly, so there is another part that can be uh, accessed on your phone. You can see the totals, you can see your um, pay information, and uh, all that right on your phone as well as on the web here as we're doing today. Uh, so uh, we'll start out with absence. Uh, quickly show you how to report an absence to your supervisor so that they know you're accounting for some unplanned time off. Uh, simply go to the page, choose the day, and then uh, enter your notes so they know what, uh, what were the circumstances surrounding your absence. Uh, since we're not going to do that today, I'll just show you and we are going to cancel out of that. Uh, we'll take us back to um, the tab that we need to be in, which is my time card. And that will pull me over to the time card. And uh, if I scroll down, you'll see that we have 26 pay periods uh, every two weeks falls on a Friday so pretty straightforward timekeeping here and I'm actually going to enter some time so that you can see how it's done and uh, just opening up these windows by clicking on them and you don't have to be the program will correct your time for you and that's why I don't have to enter it exactly um, I will enter my full day here which is uh, 10 hours uh, I work four 10 hour days and uh, as you see I entered the time my lunch hour and it registers up as 10 hours over there so I'll continue to do that a few more times for the purpose of demonstration and you can kind of see how it's done and then we'll show you some other uh, uh, details okay and it's just this easy and we ring up another 10 hours and I'll keep going here one more time and those are my normal three days I have my 10 hour entries here and I work Sunday to Wednesday so we'll go ahead to Sunday um, this Sunday I'll be taking vacation so I'll, I'll show you how to enter uh, vacation the way we do it it was we simply enter an amount I'm gonna do 12a to 10A and that just indicates to the um, processor that it's a special kind of time and uh, that'd be 10 hours and pay code is how we differentiate our time so if I click on pay code all the different types of pay will come up I, I have to click on more here to get vacation to come up and uh, let's go with vacation it populates and that tells the person that I'm taking vacation and we have an entry down here you'll see that highlighted later in the program so that totals up my first week there's 30 hours of regular time 10 hours of vacation time equals 40 hours for the week 
and then if we scroll down we'll see week two and uh, I'm gonna keep going and enter a full week of vacation here so that you can see how that's done as well scroll down vacation and we'll keep going Again, type more scroll vacation one more entry will give me 40 hours of vacation Forty hours of vacation entered there, and I will return on Sunday, and that will be regular time. So I'm going to enter those hours right now. Six thirty. A. Two zero P. Okay, whoops, I made a mistake here. That is to be 7.30A. Okay, and simply click on any cell for it to total. As we see, we got 40 hours for that. 40 hours for that. Great way to check and see that your totals are right. And uh, it will be 80 hours for the um, two weeks. So the important thing is it is not entered until you click the save button. So let's go ahead and save those totals. And uh, they will be entered in there permanently. And the way to see that they are is your pay period should be 80, week 1, 40, 40, operation successful. Those are your indications. And uh, it's showing here with the orange bars all of my vacation time, which needs approval, and uh, showing my regular time. And um, all the dots here are just showing that it has not been processed yet. But that is okay, as I'm doing a week ahead, and uh, um, I can change this up until the very last day and uh, still have it um, uh, uh, still be able to make that change so quickly I'm going to show you a couple tabs here that are important if you want to add a note say it's an unexcused time off or some special circumstances uh, add a note and uh, it will be seen by the processor uh, you can print your time card, uh, reprocess, um, it'll uh, just allow you to make corrections. And if I click out of that, we can go down to the different cells and uh, click on that. As you see, you can add rows. Now this is if you're going to work part of the day and take some time off during the day. You're going to want to add a different row so that you can label that row as vacation, sick, uh, whatever type of time it is, and then regular time. So you would go ahead, add a blank row, and if you make a mistake, go ahead, delete it, um, and then just label it with the proper pay code, and it will get processed as such. So there you go. That is the short on doing time cards I'm going to go ahead and click on the calendar up here this is going 
to let mine not, uh, or I don't have to do it because it, it is already done it for me. And uh, this is just to let the processor managers know that you're taking time off and that they can account uh, for that time and schedule other employees to take over your duties. So we we'll look at the calendar, there it is, 40 hours of vacation time, and uh, everything looks good here. Uh, I will back out, let's see, last dates on the calendar, and we'll go back home, and uh, everything is taken care of. So, let's just go ahead, find this tab here, click on it, and it'll ask me if I want to log off, and I will say OK, and it will take me out of the program. Thank you very much, and that is it.